Hello, I'm Jimmy from Mosat Games, and this week I've made some fun improvements to Logic World's settings menu. First off, when you hover over a setting, you now get a preview image, a written description of what the setting does, and a rough idea of how performance intensive the setting is. If the description is too long, a scroll bar pops up to show it all. I still have a lot of preview images to make, but I did finish the ones for the outline settings, so please look at them. And by the way, uh, this text on the image, lower, higher, or on off, isn't actually part of the image. It's overlaid text so that it can be changed when you switch the game language. Next, you can now reset individual settings. Say I turn up the thick, but later I decide that this is too much thick. I can't remember what the recommended amount of thick is, and I don't want to reset all of my settings, just the thick. Well, now I can just press this handy dandy button, and the thick is back to normal. This works for all settings of all types, so never be afraid of boldness with your setting choices. Conformity is just a button press away. Finally, each slider setting can now have a unique slidey interval. So for instance, render scale adjusts at intervals of 0.25, but shadow distance adjusts at intervals of 5, and field of view adjusts at intervals of 5, but mouse sensitivity adjusts at intervals of 1. These values are super easily defined in text files, easy for us to add, easy for modders to add. Also, you can still enter non-interval values in the text box if you are a free spirit and you resent the limitations society places on you. Hopefully these changes make the settings menu a joy to use. My hope is that a statistically significant number of people will become psychologically addicted to adjusting their settings, and they will die because they forget to eat, too wrapped up in flipping toggles and dragging sliders to notice the onset of starvation. I want that blood on my hands. I think the guilt could really help me grow as a person.